Hey, what's up welders? Welcome to another episode of Adventures in Welding. I hope you all had a great 4th of July. We had a good one here in Ohio. I got a couple messages about my hat. It says Toronto. People say, we didn't know you were from Canada. I'm not from Canada. I'm from Ohio. Toronto, Ohio. It's on the Ohio River about 30 miles from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Small little town. But now that we got that cleared up, let's talk about today's subject which is practicing for your certification tests. Now, most of your certification tests, 3G, 4G, stuff like that, are gonna be done on 3 8 inch plate. You can buy ready-made test plates from a few different companies, but that's gonna cost you some money. Um, best thing to do, in my opinion, is to just go to your local steel yard, buy yourself a 3 8 by 6 inch piece of plate. You know, I think they come, uh, 12 foot lengths or something like that and cut it up yourself prep it do that so that's what we're going to do today we're going to prep this plate uh, and show you how to do it using a uh, plasma cutter so let's get ready to do that all right we're going to prep our plate here get ready to make some test plates now i think the minimum we're going to go with is five inches which is the minimum aws requirement for bending so I'm just going to put a mark here at 5 inches. Then bring my square up here. And draw us a nice line. Now to cut this we're going to use a plasma cutter. And we're going to cut it at the 35 degree angle. So let me get that set up and we'll move on to our next step. All right, folks, in order to get good cuts with your plasma cutter, it's important that you use the right size consumables. For instance, here are some 40 amp drag tips, 35 to 40 standard pipe tips, 15 to 25 amp pipe tips, and 25 to 30 pipe tips. You want to make sure you use the right amperage and the right tips to get the best results from your plasma cutter. We're going to be using the 35 to 40 amp pipe tips and electrodes. I like to get mine from George's plasma cutter shop. You can find him on eBay as Motoman420 also. So I'm going to have that in my gun and get ready to go. Alright, we're getting set up to cut here and one of the important things is that we have a nice straight line to cut with. So we're going to use a straight edge for that. But first thing I want to do is I want to get my ground clamp. And I like to have it right on the material when I'm plasma cutting. Now we've got our line here on the plate. And we could attempt to do this freehand. But frankly, I'm not that good. So we're going to use a straight edge guide to make our cut and I'm just going to adjust it so that I have the angle right where I want. And then we'll clamp it down to the plate. All right, I've got a 40 amp plasma cutter and it is set on 40 amps. And I think we're ready to cut. Going to make a couple practice passes here to make sure my hands go where I want them to. And that we don't have any snags in our cable. Because what we want here is one good continuous motion.
All right, now that everything is cut, it's just a simple matter of dressing out the bevel. Hold your grinder at the angle, smooth it out. This took me about 20 seconds. Now flipping it over, I'm dressing the back side. You want to make sure you get at least a half inch back from the edge. I like to go about an inch. You want to make sure that um, the test supervisor knows you mean business. Doing the same thing here on the top side. So you want to take that mill scale off there so that you get a good fusion from your weld. Now I'm putting the land on here for open root. Want to grind that nice and flat and perpendicular. Nothing to it. And there you have a nice heavy nickel land, which is a little more than a 332nd inch welding rod. Alright guys, I hope that gave you a good idea of how you can use a plasma cutter to cut bevels in your practice pieces or any other sort of metal you may need. It's a heck of a lot faster than doing it with a grinder. Pretty simple. If you're doing open root, make sure you got that heavy nickel land on there. And that's about it for this episode of Adventures in Welding. But before I go, I just want to mention George's Plasma Cutter Shop one, time, one more time, because not only uh, does George sell consumables for just about any make or model of plasma cutter, he's also a service center I know he services Harbor Freight, Hypertherm. I think he might uh, do longevity as well. I'm not quite sure, <clears throat> but I got his phone number right here. Uh, so give him a call if you have any problems with your machine. I'm sure he uh, can take a look at it and probably set you in the right direction. Well, I hope I see you again next time on Adventures in Wellness.